Syncfusion is a website that has a bunch of pre-made components for Angular projects, and it's made for developers to go out, grab these for a fee so you don't have to go and make them yourself from scratch. So in this video, we are gonna go over how to use Syncfusion, how to add um, one of these pre-made components to one of your projects and walk through the documentation. So if we take a look at my screen right here, we have getting started with Angular spreadsheet component. This is a very popular component because it's literally a spreadsheet, which you'll see in a minute here. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go and install the CLI. So if you don't know how to do that, I will link my video below of how I actually installed the Angular CLI using NPM. I don't have it in this video because I've already installed it, but you would just run this in your command prompt. But again, I'll link the video below so you can start there. But we already have created an application. I have that in that video as well. So now we're like, okay, we need to add this component. So if we scroll down, it says to run this in our project. So I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna go to VS Code and down in this terminal right here, I'm literally just gonna paste this and oh, it looked like it went on top of something. For some reason, control C. Okay, get out of that and then copy paste and go ahead and run this. So go ahead and press enter and it should start installing and you'll start to see it moving right there. Now it looks like it's installed because it says that there were zero, zero vulnerabilities and blah, blah. So let's go back to the website here. And it looks like now if we follow along, this is if you have 12 or below, so ignore that. It looks like we need to go into our TypeScript file and add this right here. So we're gonna need to go and grab that. So we're gonna import spreadsheet all modules. So go ahead and copy that. You don't need to copy the whole thing because I don't like to overwrite what I have in there. So if we just go into our, our um, folder here and we go to our, let's see, is this app module? Let's see where it says to add it here. It says to add it in the app module TypeScript file. Okay, cool. So app module TypeScript. I always like to double check. Go ahead and just paste that in there. Control S to save. We're doing good things. Go back and it looks like we also need to add this spreadsheet all module in our imports. So let's go ahead and do that as well. So in our imports, just do a comma and then enter bang, control S to save it. So now you've put that in the imports and you've added the top piece. So now let's go back to this reference here and it looks like we need to add some CSS. So I'm going to literally copy this. This one I'm willing to copy the whole thing because I know I have nothing in my CSS. Now I'm gonna put this in styles.css. So go ahead and press control A to highlight all that and delete it out and control B to paste it in there. Very important you don't put it in your component because this is referencing styles. So control S to save that. I tried to put it in the component and then I totally messed everything up. So just be very careful where you put this, but right here it says source styles.css. And then you should be good to go. So let's go back to our project here. And we already pressed save. So now all we have to do is run ng serve in our terminal here. So go ahead and type that out and then press enter. So it looks like it was compiled. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. You just press control click that to open it up and then you'll see it here. Now you'll notice we have nothing here, right? There's absolutely nothing here. So we missed a step. We need to actually add this in our component because it's like, okay, you didn't put anything in our component. So we need to know what we need to place here. So if we go back to VS Code, you need to go to your <clears throat> app.component.html. See how we have nothing there? We need to actually go and add the spreadsheet component. So what we're gonna do is grab this guy ejs-spreadsheet and go ahead and press control S to save that. And then you'll notice down here it's, it, it refreshed. So when we go back to look, we should see a spreadsheet. So now you can see this application was built, trial version, blah. You'll have to go in here to get a free trial or to pay in order to keep this component. But you'll notice it looks pretty good here. Like we have all the functionality, I think that most functionality of what Excel will have. But again, it's on your actual website. So now you have a spreadsheet component without having to do all the work to build up and get this. 
officially. You actually just got it off Sync Fusion, and it's really that simple. You just add that. There's a couple other things you can do within your TypeScript file if you want to put in data into your spreadsheet or lock your spreadsheet or all that. Again, most of it is going to be on this documentation. I know sometimes it's, it's scary to read the documentation, um, but that's literally what I followed and I broke things and it was fine. You just redo them. <laughs> and so I know it's scary, but I, I think it helps w to have somebody walk you through how to read this type of documentation. But that's really as simple as it is to use one of these components. And so, yeah, you can play around with a couple other components, adding it to your project. The last thing I want to do though, is actually commit this. So you'll notice I have all these commits and I'm just going to put sync fusion component add component hold on component add and then commit that to my master and push to github so that way it's completely saved and then in vs code you won't see any of those arrows they all disappear because we already have everything saved um, if you want to get out of this ng serve and you're done with the server and you, you think it's cool all right i'll play around with it press Control c that pops you out of the terminal so that way you're not running anything and then you can just close out of this guy and then you are back to normal. Now this tutorial is based off of the Angular CLI. So if you don't know how to set up a project or install the CLI, I will link my setup and of projects below so you know how to like officially set up your project. So it's like linked with GitHub and all this nice things. Um, from a beginner standpoint, because I set up my computer and then I redid everything. So that was really nice because it's complete, like it's exactly how I did it and how I end up setting up my projects. So feel free to check that out below. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.